PartyHelp.com, January 4th report, winner of the week. And what a week it's been. Would not have thought the Eagles would be in this position. Although, the lines are out and the Giants are a four-point favorite. And our first double-digit favorite of the playoffs is out. Double-digit favorites this year have not done well. That would be the Carolina Panthers, who are a 10-point favorite right now. Got some specials to go over. Got a winner of the week to announce. Pretty good day for some. Including VIP handicapper, primetime sports advisors, had a 4-2 and two day. Plus 83.75 units. And talk about finding value in a line. They had a play on the Evansville Purple Aces. This is why I want numbers for basketball, because I never even heard of this team. And it won. That's finding value in a game. It's a nice job to those guys. They also have a special. All their selections released up to and including the Super Bowl, $74.99. Getting back to basics this week, where we're going to strictly deal more on the hot or not side of things. Some may take it a little bit one way, some may take it another, but that's... Where all the users started watching and where it went. So I'm going to gear towards a little more of that. Pain Insider has a special. Guaranteed BCS Championship game, $29.99. You lose, you get all your money back. Now, that's a perfect example to watch hot or not. Because if you buy the play and he gets unhot, I'm not saying he will, but if he does, you bet the other side and you get your money back. Not a bad deal, but. With the guarantee, I'm assuming uh, he's pretty confident in the uh, winner of that. Betting as a business went two and two. Bobby Clark Sports went one and three. Basher went one and oh. Paulie Pete went one and one. Pain Insider one and oh. Nice three team teaser. Told you primetime sports advisors four and two. Rock Hard Picks at his best day of the week two and oh. Sharp Edge Plays one and six. Sports Investing as a business two and three. Mailman delivers winners two and one. There was a correction on his total. It's been noted in the chart. Tony Bruno lost a game. Top Shelf Chicago won another. And Ty Davis Sports Investor went 0 and 1 and going to give back 11 dimes. I'm just about finished the winner of the week document. I'm going to mail it to a couple of handicappers, want their opinions on it before I make it the official document. And I know everybody wants their system. Everybody wants it to be a buck system if they use bucks. Everybody uses dimes, wants it to be dimes. I'm trying to make it. At least to cover some rules, and at least it's an official document. So, what happened and where are they? Well, Ty Davis Sports Investor was going in with a very good winning percentage, but he lost today. 11 dime play, he lost, and he ends up 17 and 9, puts him at a 653 winning percentage. Top Shelf Chicago won their play today. That puts him 4-2 and two on the week, plus 51 units at a 6-6-6 winning percentage. And coming out of nowhere in the winner of the week competition, Bookie Basher Sports finishes up the week 8-4, and four, plus 107 dimes. Winning percentage of 6-6-6. What we do is when the, week, the winner percentage ties, we go to games, the amount of games. They both play the same amount of games, then we go to dimes, units, dollars. Judging by the more games you play, the more risk at it. So, winning percentage, winner of the week, BuckyBasherSports.com. Starting Monday night, that banner will be above my head. Monday through next Sunday as our weeks have changed. Bankroll winner of the week, who has won it quite a few times now, is Ty Davis Sports Investor with a winning bankroll of 815 dimes. Tomorrow night, full card. Five NBA games, two NHL games, two billion three hundred and thirty-seven college basketball games. That's why I pushed so much for the number. The Fiesta Bowl is on. Texas is the favorite. They started out as a ten and a half point favorite. They are now down to an eight and a half point favorite. Eight o'clock Fox game. Told you about the specials, both from VIP handicappers, primetime sports advisors, seventy-four ninety-nine up to and including the Super Bowl. And Pain Insider guaranteed BCS championship game twenty nine ninety nine. You lose, you get all your money back. So he's obviously pretty confident in that. 
A couple of notes to mention. Uh, betting as a business, he was winner of the week two weeks in a row. Finished up on a positive note, 12 and 10, plus 147 units. Uh, Parley Pete had a nice week, 7 and 5, plus 29 dimes. Sharp Edge Plays ended up 19 and 19, however, plus 1,695 bucks. Mailman Delivers Winners, 6 and 5, plus 171 dimes on the week. Tony Bruno Win had a losing record, 2 and 4, but they still ended up 40 dimes on the week. Top Shelf Chicago, not to take anything away from those guys, 4 and 2, plus 51 units. Not a good week for Mick over there. And Ty Davis Sports Investor, 17 and 9, plus 815 dimes. So I'm going to get this WoW document out to some of the handicappers. May even send it to a couple of my users. I have users who do email on a regular basis and some who do buy regularly the uh, handicappers and buy more than one. And their help and support of Party Help is extremely appreciated and their comments are extremely welcome. As the site is driven by the users, without the users, there is uh, no reason for handicappers to be on it. So there we go. Interesting week. All right, we are now Monday through Sunday. New week will start tomorrow. And we'll go all the way to Sunday night. Should be an interesting week. Playoffs were interesting. Not sure what the Eagles are going to do. It's going to be an interesting week. And oh, and if you're a fan of ESPN, if you head on over to ESPN.com, they redid their whole entire site. It takes a little getting used to. But what's cool, and I'm sure they do it with a cookie. Some people don't like cookies. But uh, they did a customized section so you can customize it. Yahoo used to do that for years and make it your opening page. It's pretty neat the way they do it. Also going to open up another section on Parlay Help probably in February. And we're going to call it tech.parlayhelp.com. And I'm going to start doing some tech videos, which is my original background. Because I get a lot of questions and it'll be easier to just show a video. I told you about how my site has an RSS feed in it. Some users not sure how to do that. We're going to take some screencasts and show you how to do that. So this way you don't actually have to go to a site. You get it in your email when the sites are updated. It's pretty neat. You can add as many sites in there as you want. Still looking to get some user articles written. I believe I'm going to hire one individual. Um, I got to email him back. He had emailed me about it. I'll have to work that out. Maybe have him do it two, three days a week. Um, Probably won't be a video, but at least on Tuesdays he can get the chart up there. Um, The win and loss of the day plus the weekly chart up there. And uh, depending on what happens, maybe I'll have him do it Friday night, whether I take that position or not. But for the most part, it's going to be six days a week this one night a week at the bar. And I did uh, mention to you before, we have purchased Final Cut Pro. I'm going to start to use that. Hopefully I can get those banners back above my head and the words won't stutter. Um, Maybe since I got complaints about the curtain. Um, If you do a solid green color, you can use Karma Key in this and wipe it out and put whatever you want behind you. There are some uh, sites doing that. I don't think I'm going to be in a position anytime soon to move over like this and have a nice plasma next to me. And have neat stuff. But I could move like that. And if this was green, have the banner next to me. So who knows? We'll give it a shot. Hey, if you know how to use Final Cut Express and you got any tips, email me. Plan on spending on some time on YouTube watching some. Because it's going to be a learning curve. But this is supposedly what they use in the movies. So there it is. Your winner of the week. The Bookie Basher. BookieBasherSports.com. For winning percentage. Bankroll winner of the week. 815 dimes. Ty Davis Sports Investor. Uh, Basher usually doesn't run specials. Ty Davis may have one. We will see. Those batters will be above my head starting tomorrow night. Hope everybody had a great week. Welcome to 2009. Hopefully, much better year than 2008. Partyhelp.com.